Welcome to Argon, and now the conclusion of The Snowdrifter. Are you here to arrest me? Well, that's why you've come, isn't it? It won't be easy. I've survived out here a long time. I've seen most of these trees grow from saplings about yay big. Now I can't even see the tops of them. And you... You're struggling just to breathe. That's a side effect of these altitudes. First, you struggle to breathe. And then you fall to your knees. Your weapon will be of no use to you because you won't be able to use your hands. <laughs> you really were clueless as to what life was like out here. I've been watching you. I know your partner. She's not up here that often, but when she is, there's always trouble. You know, I might admire her if I believe she cared about these people. But she doesn't. And I suspect you're the same. Just a whole lot more of the same. People here don't need that. They need someone who would give everything for them. Someone who gave everything for them. What did you do to those people? I gave them purpose. The government doesn't have use for them. They're too poor, too idealistic. Many of them fought during the war. You were one of them, weren't you? One of the ones who kept fighting when everyone else had stopped. There were a few of you, I remember. I'm still fighting. It's time. What are you signaling those people to do? Have you ever heard of the Brugmanger flower, Agent? It was used by natives for spiritual enlightenment. It spoke to them as they searched for messages from the deities. Only problem. No one was listening. It was the toxins in the plant that made them hear things, see things. After the war and the radiation that followed, this plant was the only thing that grew out here. It's a beautiful flower. But it was missing something. It needed a deity. Angel's trumpet, they call it. And when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, the people shouted with a great shout, and the wall fell down. That deity is me. You want to bring the protected zones around New Tosca down. And you need people to do it. Twelve people for twelve generators, and by then we will take over. No one understands the cold better than we do. You'll be murdering millions. I'm not concerned about your people. Thieves. Addicts. Parasites. Culling is the only option for them. My followers will see to it. They listen to me. And only I know how to wake them up. You used the flower. I used the flower. Now it's your turn, Agent. I will see you soon.
Tail. Tail! Olivia, they're gonna shut down the pods. I can't run. You have to wake these people up. How? It's a signal. Say Jericho. They'll wake up. Jericho. There's not a lot of time. Just please trust me. Go! Cave that looks over a cliff. <sighs> That's surprising. I thought you might follow me in here. I can smell an obsessive for miles. Tell me, Agent, are you seeing phantoms yet? No one sent you out here. You did. Everything that's happening to you now, you did to yourself. And for what? The protected zone will be destroyed. Without any ability to communicate with the outside world, your city will be desolate. Follow me up to the clearing, and you can see its lights go out. I think you're in for a disappointment. It was... Jericho, wasn't it? It was Jericho. This wasn't going to work. They were supposed to come back here. They were going to jump. We were going to do it together. You took that away from me. You took this away from me again. No. I think a slow death will suit you better. You know, you can't wake yourself up from your nightmare. Only someone else can do that. And since no one else is around, you will go mad. It doesn't matter. You lost. Not quite. There's more to come. You'll see. As for me, I think it's time to stop fighting. Wait. Step back from the edge. Goodbye, Agent. I'm sure you're feeling quite proud. No! Who's there? Remember me? You're in my head. You're just in my head. Patrick, I can assure you, this is real. You think a soldier could have orchestrated this? Who are you? I think you know. Ah! Stop! Get out of my head! Get out? I've been with you the whole time. I know who you are. I know what you are. Patrick! Olivia! I can't see! My god, what did he do to you? Nothing. There was someone else. I think. How are the others? Are they okay? They're, they're fine. They're fine, Dale. It's gonna take a few days for the trance to completely wear off, but they're fine. Man, Special Agent, you really look like shit. If I known it was gonna be this hard working with you, I would have requested someone else. Come on, let's get you home.
follow the continuing story by subscribing to the podcast at argonpod.com. Argon, an Ampermain Media production, is written and directed by Jeannie Floyd. Vocal cast for this episode includes Les Weiler, Blanca Gomez, Christian Huey, and Carl DeSoto. Editing by Mike Moody Garcia. Thank you for listening.